St. Stephen was a kinsman of the Apostle Paul and one of the Jewish people who lived in the Hellenic provinces. Stephen was the first of the seven deacons whom the Holy Apostles ordained and appointed to the service of assisting the poor in Jerusalem. For this he is called the Archdeacon. By the power of his faith, Stephen worked great miracles among the people. The Jewish teachers disputed with him, but they were always defeated by his wisdom and the power of the Spirit, who acted through him. Then the Jews, accustomed to calumnies and slander, incited the people and the elders of the people against the innocent Stephen, slandering him as though he had blasphemed against God and against Moses. False witnesses were quickly found who confirmed this. Stephen then stood before the people, and all saw his face as it had been the face of an angel, that is, his face was illumined with the light of grace that was once on the face of Moses when he spoke with God. Stephen opened his mouth and enumerated the many good works and miracles that God had performed in the past for the people of Israel, as well as the many crimes and opposition to God on the part of this people. He especially rebuked them for the killing of Christ the Lord, calling them betrayers and murderers. And while they gnashed their teeth, Stephen beheld and saw the heavens open and the glory of God. That which he saw, he declared to the Jews, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. Then the malicious men took him outside the city and stoned him to death. Among his persecutors was his kinsman Saul, who later became St. Paul the Apostle. At that time, Jesus' mother, the Most Holy Theotokos, standing on a rock at a distance with St. John the Theologian, witnessed the martyrdom of this first martyr for the truth of her Son and God and she prayed to God for Stephen. His martyrdom occurred one year after the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles on Pentecost. Gamaliel, a prince of the Jews, and a secret Christian, clandestinely took St. Stephen's body and buried it on his own estate. Thus this first among the Christian martyrs gloriously reposed and took up his habitation in the kingdom of Christ God.